In this video, we will watch Baker Mayfield speaks to the media ahead of his matchup with Nick Bosa and the 49ers. Hello and welcome back my friends. Do not forget to subscribe as our goal is to reach 5,000 subscribers and hit the thumbs up. Yeah, um, I'll just go off, off the, uh, you know, the one to Mike where he had to come back on a post route. It was, uh, you know, they were giving us a blitz look. Um, I was pretty quick to release it and Mike's running his ass off down the field. I didn't know if he was ever going to look for it. I'm glad he did. Uh, he was able to come back to the ball. So for him, it's always giving him a chance. Um, you know, he's going to make a play somehow, some way. Now, the, you know, there's one, the, the tray that got overturned. Um, you know, it's a single high defense. He's got press coverage. He did a good job stretching an outside release, slipping inside. But at the same time, the safety wasn't getting involved on it. So I don't have to necessarily throw him back to the sideline. So you look at, you look at different traje trajectory of the ball, um, how you can lead him upfield, different things like that. You can always just fine tune and get better at it. Because that's, that's one of them that I would like to have back to where he can just catch it in stride and score a touchdown. Thank you. Um, yes and no. You know, I, I think the good part about when you know, teams are pressuring us, we have a really good plan about how we want to attack it. The answers within the system, um, that, that communication throughout the weeks, uh, really, really clear. So, um, it, it's if you're on the same page and you have you have the schemes to be able to carve people up when they do pressure. There's obviously less defenders in coverage, so it, it works both ways. And San Francisco is one of the top teams in the league in pressure. They don't come up with a lot of sacks, but they do pressure quite a bit. Yeah, I mean, they're just their defense as a whole has studs all around. So, um, yeah, got to be clued into their blitz packages and obviously just have to handle the front in general. But that's their uh, starting point and it allows for those linebackers that are both studs to, to play pretty free. Baker, at the same time, the front four that they have, they don't have to blitz because they don't want to, right? If, yep. if those guys are good up front, can you just speak to the talent they have to get three first rounders on that line? Yeah. Javon Hargrave might be the free agent acquisition might be playing the best out of them all. Yeah, it's um, it's one of those things like you, when you write down your scouting report, when you do the Eagles and you do the 49ers, they're too deep on the front is, uh, to say the least, it's uh, damn impressive. So uh, when, when you have some of those guys rotating in for fresh legs, it, it's it's impressive. So just got to have a good plan, a concise plan to know how we want to attack these guys. And um, they're, they're really good. So we, we have to expect that they're going to give us some, some fits and some challenges on, on different things. And so um, just got to game plan and find out ways uh, to stay ahead of the chains. Is it surprising, Baker, after nine games that uh, Chris only has one touchdown catch? Uh, does that surprise you? What, what's going on in the red zone with, with Godwin? Uh, there, there's been a couple that we're really close on, to be honest with you. Um, I think there's, you know, there, there's one play against New Orleans where uh, the interception for halftime should have been a touchdown. Uh, and then he got subbed out, and Trey Palmer wound up catching a, a quick fly for, for a touchdown. There's just little things here and there that they just haven't timed out right, but he's one of those guys that – uh, he's been so crucial for us just within the system as a whole, third down conversions and especially. But, yeah, we'd love to get him in the end zone more, but we'll take any sort of touchdown. This might have been the old Ohio State-Oklahoma thing, but uh, does Nick Bosa talk a lot when you're out there? <laughs> uh, no, I, I mean, I've only played him a couple times. The first year, definitely. It was his rookie year. Uh, but it's fun. He, he's, he's, a, he's a good guy, obviously a great competitor and a stud. So he's uh, one of those challenges that you look forward to going up against and competing with. Baker, we're only halfway through the season. Who knows what the second half will be, right? Everything is still in front of you guys as far as winning the division and whatnot. But for your perspective, um, as you kind of look at it, take a step back, if I can get you to do that now, I know you're in the hunt. Best, good decision, good fit for you? Like everything seems to have, you know, if I look around the other free agent quarterbacks out there, you know, you, you have the best rating of anybody in NFC South and, and, and you know, and beyond. So you feel pretty good about the way things have turned out to this point. Absolutely. Uh, you know, I've said it time and time again, and it's not going to change. Just the organization as a whole, from I've come, when I've come in, it's, yeah. it's been really clear about what they want to get done, about where we're headed. And um, as these games have gone on, just offensively for us, about how we're growing in the system, it, yeah. it's been, this is where we want to be at. This is what we need to get done. And so it's just... When it's clear and concise, I, I can I can fall in line no matter what. So and we're all just trying to get better each day on, as an offense and, and trying to continue to improve. And um, now we get a better opponent to be able to go up against and, and see where we're made up as well. Has there been any discussions with you or, or your representation about extending for next year? Not that I know of. But for me, I'm just taking care of it one game at a time, um, and the rest will fall in place. Thanks for watching. I hope you like our hard work. Please like and subscribe to our channel to support us so that we can keep updating you with the daily news and stories. Please share our videos and follow us on Instagram and Twitter. So leave a comment below and tell us how you rate this video.